Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the match between Barcelona and Mallorca. And within this game, Barcelona is going to be playing at the Camp Nou. Right now, we are in a very nerve-wrecking position. I know that the players cannot feel this way. I know that the players have to take this very calmly. We cannot be nervous whatsoever at this time of the season. But in the end, when it comes to having the fans perspective, it is a very nerve-wrecking position to be in because we haven't really done well within the league. And especially especially within the past two games. We have lost to Cadiz, we have lost to Real Vallecano, and that is what's making the league very difficult right now. If we look at the league table right now, we can see that Barcelona is in third place temporarily. At the time that I am recording this video, Real Madrid has not played yet, Atletico Madrid has also not played yet, but as of now, while I am recording this video, Barcelona right now do have 63 points. We could have had 69 if we actually beat Cadiz and Real Vallecano and be five points above Sevilla, but no, Barcelona have lost their past two La Liga games. Sevilla, thank goodness, have tied against Cadiz 1-1, which is why they are only one point above Barcelona. And if Barcelona do win tomorrow against Mallorca, Barcelona is going to be two points above Sevilla, which is going to be some great, great news. We need to continue to win these games. We need to continue to focus on our own game and everything is going to fall into place in the end. And so, look, here's the thing that I do want to say when it comes to Barcelona season, because I am going to go very macro right now. I am going to be talking about the overall agenda for Barcelona. We're not going to be too specific when it comes to Mallorca because we know what we need to do in this game and especially in front of our own fans. But here's the thing. The main objective for Barcelona for this season is to just qualify for the Champions League and nothing else. I've already given out like a roadmap when it comes to what Barcelona should be doing in this season and in the next season. And that's going to be this. What I want for Xavi's Barcelona to do in this season is to again qualify because that is what's going to give us the victory. We're going to be celebrating. We're going to be like, okay, this was a very successful season for this Barcelona team because we have to understand where we did come from. If we do have second place or third place or fourth place, by the end of the season, it would be a great, great win. But going into the next season, the roadmap that I want Barcelona to go through and what the agenda and what the objective should be for this team is to be very competitive. I want to see Barcelona have a total of 85 to 90 points by the end of that next season. And that is basically it. Like that is what Barcelona should become again. We need to be become that team again because every time Barcelona do end up having around 85 to 90 points by the end of that season that is considered as this club Barcelona being very competitive this is what we want to see even though we might even lose the league right so let's say for example Barcelona gets 87 points and Real Madrid gets 89 or maybe even 90 points that is okay because that is what's going to tell us that yes Barcelona is back yes they can compete and this also translates towards doing very well in the Champions League like for example let's look at the current season in the Premier League. Right now, as things currently do stand, City is in second place, right? At the time that I am recording this video, City still have to play their game. I do think that they play in about one to two hours. But just because City is in second place and you look at the amount of points they have accumulated compared to Liverpool, which is like a one point difference, does that mean that Manchester City is playing bad? No, Manchester City is not playing bad. And they're also doing very well in the Champions League. This is exactly where I want Barcelona to go. Even if we might lose the league, that is completely okay because you look at the points that Barcelona is going to be receiving it makes Barcelona a very competitive squad just like how Liverpool is looking very competitive even if they might end up second place in a couple of hours and just like City who is currently in second place and still very competitive doing very well in the Champions League but in order for Barcelona right for Xavi's Barcelona to achieve 85 points 86 points 88 89 90 points through a campaign we need to have every player healthy we need to have every player understanding their role we have to have the these players understand the concepts of what Xavi is trying to bring in this club. We also do need to be very well mentally and believe in ourselves. Because again, if we can do that, that is going to be translating towards doing well in the Champions League. Notice how I do say that I'm not saying that Barcelona is going to be winning everything next season. No, I'm not saying that. I just want this squad and especially under Xavi to be very competitive because that is going to be considered as Xavi's first full season. If we can just be a team that causes chaos in the league, in the Champions League, many of us are going to be very, very satisfied. And this is just worst case scenario. This should just be the objective. If we can do even more, like for example, winning La Liga or maybe or maybe even winning the Champions League, great. But as of now, this will be something that I do think Barcelona can go for. But in order to do that next season, our first step, and please, I really hope it does happen. Please, Barcelona need to qualify for the Champions League for this season and remain in the top four. And that first step is going to be by beating Mallorca tomorrow night. Now, look, we have already beaten Mallorca once 
zero back on January 2nd. That is how we kicked off the year with a goal coming from Luke de Jong. He saved Barcelona and it was not an easy game. And I do think that Barcelona have improved, which makes me believe that Barcelona can bring out a great result. And we can even also possibly place a very strong starting 11, even though we know that many of these players right now in this club are currently injured. And Xavi has basically confirmed during the press conference on who's going to be playing, who's going to be making an appearance, and it's going to be revolving around Ansu Fati and Ricky Puj. And so when it comes to Ansu Fati, it does say here, this is what Xavi had to say, and I quote, if everything does go well, Ansu may get a few minutes tomorrow. Ansu Fati will be on the squad list tomorrow. And this is exactly what we have been expecting. I do expect Ansu Fati to really finish with Barcelona extremely strong. Xavi has also emphasized that there can't be no more setbacks. He assumes that there will be no more setbacks and that Ansu Fati needs to continue to be that critical player for Barcelona. So I'm happy to see that the whole squad, right, all of these coaches are backing Ansu and for him to do well and really succeed at this club. And Barcelona, right, we really do need our goal scorer back. We need our main goal scorer, the one that does have the instinct for goal inside the box. That is Ansu Fati. That is exactly what we have been missing. And hopefully Ansu can deliver against Mallorca. And then when it comes to Ricky Puj, this is what Xavi had to say. And I quote, he has a chance to play. Everyone should be ready to play tomorrow. So this is exactly what we have discussed. Yes, Nico is injured. Pedri is injured. Sergi Roberto is injured. But we can still bring a great performance with a midfield that does consist of Busquets, Frankie, Gavi, and Ricky Puj. This is going to be a huge moment for this player because Ricky Puj has never had an opportunity like this ever before. And he has even had an interview a couple of hours ago. And I do believe it was yesterday where he was explaining to the media that my goal is to still succeed at this Barcelona club. And he also emphasized that not every 20-year-old player is going to make it and play all of the minutes in Barcelona. Ricky Puj does believe that he needs more time. That just because you're 20, 21 years old, that does not mean that you're going to be receiving 90 minutes every Sunday. And in the end, Ricky Puj does still want to stay at Barcelona. He loves this club and I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him because he does not want to give up. He does have the fighting spirit and now he does have that opportunity to really prove to the world that yes, he is Barcelona material. Now let's give some updates towards Dembele and his match fitness because we do have some very surprising concerning news and it does say here that Dembele was not involved during the training session today and that is because he was experiencing throat problems and so it is not a serious problem I would say like it's not a hamstring problem or a quad problem he did not receive any injury in the legs it's just a throat problem maybe he's just sick but there has been reports about Dembele not playing against Mallorca like for sure and just you know like how unlucky can Barcelona be like the fact that we almost had a squad that did consist of Ansu and Dembele on the wings that was going to be very exciting but we may not even see that and we were also talking about how we wanted to see Ansu and Pedri on the pitch again two star players for this club and in the world of football but we are also not going to be seeing that tomorrow because Pedri is out for the rest of this season and so again just how unlucky can we be I don't think that it's going to be the end of the world I do think that if Dembele does not feature in the game against Mallorca which is like 90% possible it's not 100% ruled off I do not really see a problem I think that the one player that can fulfill that role on the right wing it would be Ferran Torres now Xavi has not announced the squad list yet he said that he does not want to put out the squad list until like tomorrow which is like six hours before the match maybe it's because of tactical reasons who knows but now this is what's going to lead us towards the possible starting 11 that we could see go up against Mallorca and here is going to be my possible starting 11 I do expect to see a defensive line of Dani Alves on the right Araujo and Eric Garcia as the center back duo Jordi Alba as the left back our midfield being Frankie Gavi Busquets and our front three being Ferran Torres Aubameyang and Ansu Fati I do think that there's two very important substitutions that Xavi has to make and I do think he has to make this very early in the game like for example with Ansu Fati I do expect him to only play about 45 to 50 minutes in this game and I do expect him to be subbed out for someone like Adama Trode having Ferran Torres come in to the left and Adama come in to the right and then move on from there when it comes to Gavi I do think that he will be substituted out or maybe even Frankie I know that Frankie has been substituted out early as of late but I still have my faith that Frankie can do very well in this Barcelona squad he's just going through a slump and it does make a lot more sense to place in someone like 
Ricky Puj in Fragavi to play alongside with Frankie and Sergio Busquets, two players who have enough experience on the field. And so if we can make those substitutions, do some rotation on the defensive line also, I think that Xavi and this Barcelona squad overall does have what it takes to bring a good scoreline and achieve the three points tomorrow night. It should be very, very exciting. I am going to be posting a post-match review after this match is over. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button. You guys do not want to miss out. There's going to be so much that we're going to have to discuss after that. And so that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona pre-match preview. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.